Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, in continuing our study of the 150 pencils in the Prismacolor set, I thought I would answer two questions at once. Here is another one of Joanna's uh, pages for Christmas out of her Christmas book. Somebody asked me how to do candlelight and that glowing effect of the candle. And I thought I would answer it because I'm going to blend up a whole bunch of pencils. This is a bottom layer. This is not a developed picture yet. I wanted to set the tone for the picture. So these are the colors that I've used so far. Um, the wall itself is clay rose. And I just circular motion... went with my clay rose. Now I chose to do the bottom layer in a circular motion because I want to add in more colors and by using a circular pattern I'm leaving space open for different hues of different colors and tones to come into the into the background. So that would be opposed to doing it straight where I'd get a flat color. On top or in adjacent to the clay rose, I added a peach. So wherever there was open space, I added peach. Now, if you study the peach color and what peach actually is, peach is a combination of red and blue forming like a mauve with a yellow in it. Now, playing with it is um, a whole other, <laughs> a whole other story, but that's the basic colors in um, peach. So the clay rose is a combination of the blue and the red, making a mauve type of a purplish hue. So because it has two of the same base coats, it goes really well and smoothly with the clay rose. And that's why this will work out. And I know from the beginning that my colors are going to blend nicely. When I wanted to add the yellow, I need to leave an open space. So my, this one is more developed than this one. This is more a beginning. I took and I used my um, cannery yellow. And I just made the light going around the candle where I would have the light spread out from. Until I made it around the candle itself and the light. From there, I wanted to add in some white because it doesn't go, a natural candle light doesn't go from, uh, it, it's a whiter type of light than just bright. It usually spans off and gets like yellower. So on the actual flame, I added a base coat of white. That means that anything that I add above that is going to be lighter because my undertone and my base color is going to have white. It's never going to reach this tone. So I've, I've added like a little safety. In addition to that, where the wick enters the flame, I use some warm gray at 70% and I just darken slightly the bottom. That would be uh, for the burning of and the turning of the black, the char of the wick. So once I got all of that done as far as a bottom layer, now I want to work on my top layers. And that's what I'm going to do from, from now. I'm going to go back with my peach. And I want to get the edges, 
blending so that the peach and the yellow blend really nicely and softly. Because the peach has yellow in it, I know I'm not going to turn turn it to mud, which is always a, you know, possibility. That's what you're trying to avoid is your mud colors. And you can see that the light is getting slightly orangey and much softer. Then I'm going to take my white and I'm going to give it a layer of white that will add a softness to it. Okay, I would do it the same for these. These two are up to the same point. Now I'm going to take my wall color and my wall color, which I would be the clay rose. And very lightly, I'm going to put it on the top of my hand, just like that. My hand is back here. I'm going to tone it completely down because it really is too bright. And just tone it down, getting softer and softer. And then again, I'm going to use my white to soften it even more. Okay, for my wick, I want it a tinge of red and not even red. I'm going to go with um, mineral orange, just a tiny bit around, and I mean tiny, in circular motions around the wick, leaving the wick white. So you could see it better on this one, even though this one I didn't develop in the same way. You could see a little bit of the yellow and I mean the orange within the yellow. Then I'm going to take my white yet again, and I'm going to blend it really well. So it's only a glow. Now, I need something to shadow. I'm going to take it down a little bit in stages, and I'm going to start with my Sandbar Brown. Sandbar Brown is one of your shadow colors. That it's, it's on the browner side of your shadow. And that's how I got in between... And you just lightly work your way up very soft. So you start losing that circular, that hard, like see how this is hard circle and here it's soft. Okay, so you're going to keep working between your sandbar, your white. You're not going to add any more yellow to it because you'll brighten it up too much. And I'm going to even put a little bit of sandbar onto the candle. I just did, I just used a little bit of red to do the candle. And my red was... I think it's the uh, crimson red. The light line that goes down the middle, which is, would be white if it wasn't, there's a yellow glow in the room. So what I did was I took my yellow very, very gently and I just lightly tapped over the picture. 
over that white. So it's got a slightly yellowish tinge. And on the top of the candle, it would be yellow because the color is, um, the yellow is glowing down on it. When I was satisfied that this was nice and glowing, I took my warm gray, which is my 90% warm, and just a tiny bit at the bottom and around the sides, add your warm gray as a shadow color. Now, since your light is definitely coming from the middle, I'm shadowing very, very lightly, a little bit on both sides. So that it's just got that darkness in the back and the shadow color coming down. I'm going to work and do all of them. And that's how I would handle uh, candlelight. Now, the person who asked me this asked me, how do I get it when it's in a um, in the lamp? What I would do is basically the same thing, but I would render my metal around the lamp. Wherever there is a white highlight in your metal, I would use the yellow. That would give that glow coming off of, to the, off of it onto the metal itself and give it a yellow glow instead of a white glow. So I hope this helped. Um, it's a lot of fun to do. This is a great picture, but I think somebody else had done this picture. I've seen this picture completely finished. It's not one of the ones that I had planned on finishing, but since I wanted to show you guys some color combinations and what you can do, um, I just decided to use this. I doubt this, this isn't on my list of one that I planned on finishing. Maybe I'll get to it, maybe not, but this is how I did the glow of the candle. Take care. Bye-bye. See more? Hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell.